Hey guys, um, yeah, back again. Just thought I'd do a bit of a tour. Uh, we'll drive across the Harbour Bridge, see a bit of Sydney, and we'll head over into Newtown. Um, yeah, it gets a bit busy across the bridge, so I don't know how much commentary I'm going to do because yeah, it can get a little bit hectic in traffic because Sydney side is a fucked. But um, anyway, if, uh, if I'm not talking too much, you'll see all the the pretty sights anyway so all right let's get going and away we go yeah where we're coming up to it's a 60k work zone and no one does 60k so being the law-abiding nerd that I am, I sit right on 60, so I'm going to get some arsehole sitting right on my ass, so, yeah. Some cold fuckwit Sydney cider. I guess I'm one of them, so I can't really complain. Yeah. Bit of a late start today. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon now. I only left the my place about half an hour ago. Yeah, I'll talk a bit about Sydney, or we're about, we're not too far from the Harbour Bridge anyway. Go on, on a grain. This is riveting footage. I guess I should really start talking anyway, since we're just sitting here. Yeah, I can talk about... Oh, here we go. Alright. I've even got a um, new phone holder. Suction cup one. I find this one's better than the last one I had. Probably bounces around a bit less than the last one I had, so... Yeah, this is when we get onto the freeway here. It gets a little bit hectic because, yeah, like I said, it's a 60 zone, but no one follows the rules. Anyway. So i just got to concentrate a bit coming up to here because we want to get onto the Harbour Bridge. Sydney town. Um, hmm, what can I talk about? I guess, well, I guess I'm really only going to gripe about Sydney. I call it lonely town. Yes, yeah, all the cities I've been to around the world, I guess they're all pretty much the same. But I know Sydney's just got this lonely, sad vibe about it. And all the people are kind of like the same. It's like this grey, I don't know, it's just got this grey vibe about it. Um, the harbour's very pretty, it's, yeah, as you'll soon see, but, um, everyone's just a fucking yuppie here, it's just like, it's all about making money, and everyone, that's all anyone ever talks about, is money, it's just, yeah, it's about making money, um, having no money, it's, it's like a, a car system here in Sydney, you know? Thanks, mate. Thanks for indicating. Yeah, but um, it's a very Ford-centric city, you know. Yeah, they think they're top shit here when really they're not all that. But seem, yeah, we seem to be having this, the same problem the world over, so... It's not too hectic as of yet, which I'm kind of surprised about being Saturday afternoon. Maybe that's why. Ugh. Oh, just missed it. All right. Yes, here is our beautiful metropolis. Yeah, it's just the Uppie Central, really. No, yeah, most people are struggling. Like, no one's got fucking any money for anything. Like, most people are, like, paying rent or, yeah, paying off a mortgage and just getting by. You basically need to be making to 
live comfortably in Sydney, you've got to be making 100 grand and over. And yeah, if you partnered up with someone, um, they're making about that much as well. But other than that, you just, yeah, you won't be owning your own place, that's for sure. There's the copper dogs there. Being ready to book people, not going through the, um, doing the 60, the road work zone. Yeah, I, I just find most people fucking boring and lame. I like, just don't give a fuck about anyone here, you know? Yeah, money, money, money. Everyone's just cold and miserable and soulless. No one gives a fuck about anyone else. I think, um, one day do a tour, I'll go, I'll walk straight through the city, I'll walk across the Harbour Bridge, and then um, walk through the city, show you guys the city if you're interested. Yes, I've been struggling in this city to find a uh, girlfriend my entire life, to no avail, to no avail, but um, I don't know, is that down to me or down to them? Maybe a bit of both, I'd say more so them. Yes, it's very status orientated here, you know. I think you might make it, say, if you had a career in real estate or something like that. Um, yeah. The bar life's pretty big here, like right in town. Uh, here we are, right in the Harbour Bridge. Yeah, night, night life, or like club life and all like that, that's pretty popular here, which I've never cared for, like ever. Like, I'm even over, like, I went to see a few bands last weekend. I'm even over that now. It's like, I don't really, really like doing that anymore. It's the same, yeah. Same old crowds. Everyone's getting old. All the bands I like to go see, it's just the older crowd. Yeah. Very pretty city in, in some ways, but it comes to the price. pylon on the left there we we're just passing now you can actually go up the top there oh, you've got to pay to go up like fucking everything here it's cost you like you see us like six bucks it's pretty reasonable but i think it's like it's probably 20 bucks now to get up the top there and get a nice vantage point in the city for all the tourists and get your photos in and all like that Yeah, so we'll head into Newtown. Newtown is kind of like um, SJW Central, like left of Central. I guess I wasn't that too different from the people there when I was younger. I was kind of wanting to fit in with that crowd. Uh, but once again, to no avail. I guess I'm one of these people I've just never fitted into any crowd or scene. You know, um, I heard it said once, like, Kind of like two normie for the weirdos and two weirdo for the normies or something like that, something along those lines, or two autists or whatever, I don't know. You get my drift. Yes. But, yeah, this is how I spend most of my weekends alone, like I brought up before. Uh, well, one, I've never been able to find a girlfriend, two, like all my friends are moving on or... Sometimes I get a bit jack of my friends too, just couldn't be bothered with them too much. Seems like a bit too much effort, so not that I have many friends left, but... What I hate about most people is like, you call them up or you leave a text and, I don't know, it just seems to be the trend, like, people don't get back to you, like even family members. Oh, sorry, it was really busy. Yeah, okay, so...
for a skate afterwards, after this video. I haven't even had lunch yet. I was skating for four hours yesterday, but a bit stuffed. That's why I think I woke up so late, or well, got out of bed so late anyway. This is a real urbex area. It's uh, kind of dystopian, doesn't it? I think a few homeless people sleep under the bridge around here. And there's old ScoMo up on the left hand side, our former Prime Minister. Just a numpty head himself. I don't have that much of an interest in politics. Yeah. None of them have really done anything for me. So. past another left of central headquarters. Um, <clears throat> we'll be going past the ABC building. Australian Broadcasting uh, Corporation. It's the government TV channel. They've got a radio channel too. It's very leftist. I think close to like, maybe only boomers watch it anymore. Like, yeah, no one watches the ABC anymore. Very biased. I haven't had a TV since well, two or three years, since the beginning of COVID, which is, yeah. Sick of all the, um, it's all biased, really, you know. You watch Fox, it's all right wing. You watch, you know, ABC or CNN, it's all, well, ABC Australia, it's just like all leftist leaning. It's all driven by sponsors, I guess. Australian taxpayers pay for that shit, would you believe? But... Mm. Yes, we're on broad, well, yeah, on Broadway now. We'll head up on the King Street. So, yeah, um, Sydney in a nutshell. Money, money, money. And, yeah. That's you basically that's what you got to be about to live in this city. You either got it or you don't. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care for it. Never have. Yeah, I do love urbex through the city. I like walking through here, but that's about it. But it kind of makes me feel depressed like, to see all these cold solar shits around, you know? Here we go, come on, bud. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah, you can't load anything up. Okay, let's go. I like this building on the left here for the um, greenery growing off the side of it. I reckon all buildings should be like that. Might improve people's mental health, you know? A bit of nature and shrubbery around. I like it. Be cool if there's a whole city like that. It'd be nice. And I think that's University of Technology Sydney on the right, that strange building. Yeah, technical, the technical university. Part of it anyway, it's a big campus. I remember I did a bit of construction work after I left high school on there, a bit of scaffolding, labouring, which sucked. I hated that. I remember, I think that's when my depression, well, not that I say I got proper depression, but when I knew it was, it, it was over, that never began. Way back then, like I was 18, 19. So, yeah, this is my life. It's just not really going to go anywhere. Not with, yeah, the spouse, yeah. I just had a feeling way back then that, yeah, it's never going to eventuate. And I was right. 
Yeah, maybe I brought it upon myself. I was pretty shy when I was younger, but um, yeah, that doesn't go well in the mix when you're a suspected autist. You should really go see a doctor and get diagnosed. I've done some of those online tests. I think they're a bit of bullshit because one time I did it, it said I was fine. Next time I did it, I answered it in a different way. It said, yeah, I'm highly suspected of uh, being Asperger's, if they even call it that anymore. But i got my own thoughts and theories about it. I don't know, like, on it, um, where it's even it's legitimate. Sometimes I think, yeah, um, obviously, yeah, low-level, whatever they call it, uh, spec spectrum autism. I don't know, even if it's legit. Like, is it, is it just for doctors to make money? Maybe it's a, another video. So yeah, City Road, Newtown. We're just about there. Well, hopefully this video hasn't been too dull for you. Yeah, here when you get into Newtown, the girls, they're cute, but. Yeah, a lot of university students, they all, most of them, like, live up in Newtown, and, well, Sydney University is just up the road from here, we'll go past it anyway, um, yeah, it's, the people, ma mainly the people, the young people who attend are, like, trust fund kids, and that's what, like, Newtown's full of, like, the girls are like that, um, yeah, the, if you're into that pasty look, uh, you know, you're long elongated schnoz nose um yeah they all got the mullet hairdo at the moment which seems to be in vogue um that's what's going they all wear op shop clothes they're all yeah they're all pretty much SJW they thems you know um they're all like that so if you can if you can bear with all that um I guess you're in I guess yeah yeah, back in my blue pill days, I was that way fairly inclined myself. Um, I was very politically correct, painfully so. But I don't know. I think, yeah, I, I gobbled up red pill back in uh, 2016, and yeah, and then the black pill came not too shortly after. And yeah, that was the end of that. I think I just felt dissatisfied. I just, yeah, my early days hanging around here, hoping. I always thought maybe I could fit in over here. But like I said before, don't really fit in anywhere. But yeah, I just look, everyone's full of shit around here. Like they make out they're all accepting and leftist leaning, you know. And but I don't know, at the end of the day, it's all yeah. They're all fashion based. They're all about themselves. They're all trust fund kids. And it's all whether you're hip enough or not. So it's actually not a bad walk all the way up King Street we'll go actually down to the corner to the chimney stacks it's the historic uh, brickworks and the skate parks nearby I don't know if I'm going to go skating there because it gets pretty busy I don't know if I'm in the mood today still going to have lunch oh, there's 1989 uh, if you saw those Ninja Turtles with proton packs on it's like a um, bar a hamburger bar and they've got um, arcade machine game thingies so it's kind of like based on all no culture and shit but the food they're not big on the food that's more about alcohol and yeah cause I went there once with a friend to eat dinner but they had barely anything on the menu and looked pretty lame anyway so we didn't stay there for long went to another place that's coming up on the right but I don't want to give them a shout because their burgers are shit so minuscule if it wasn't for the loaded fries I would have still been hungry Yeah, so usually I'd be playing music uh, at this time. I'm always listening to music in my car, but um, for copyright reasons, I don't want this. I don't know how YouTube works, but the videos get flagged or something, or you get a warning, or they get taken down. So yeah, gotta be bothered with it. Otherwise, I'd have a bit of a soundtrack going. Yeah, my early days, just trying to think when I first started coming here after high school, it's like 96, 97. Yeah, I thought it was really cool to hang around here. It was a bit cooler back then, like more of the yuppies have moved in now. 
it's not that interesting anymore. There's a few cool stores like music stores to come hang out at, uh, but they're for the most part gone. Um, there's a bookstore called Elizabeth's which I like to go to. They got uh, occasionally you can pick up some decent old comic books. Not that I really buy them anymore because I read most of them online for free. <laughs> but um, <coughs> excuse me. Once in a while, yeah, you find um, some treasures in the big gay lesbian trans scene here too. So you probably you might see a few rainbow flags about. Yeah, everyone's very woke around here. Dyed hair, you know all that bullshit. So I'm just trying to think of a, an equivalent. Um, this area, I've been to Portland, so I guess you could say it's like Portland, Oregon, uh, over here. And then you got Melbourne in Victoria. Like Melbourne is just like one big Portland. Well, yeah, the Australian equivalent of Portland. Here we've just got like Newtown, just one light suburb, uh, which is similar to Portland. Go on, buddy. Yeah, it's mainly eateries and shit and bars around here. Um, SJWs is pretty much it. Go on. Uh, what else do I have to say about around here? Um, try not to have any awkward silences in this video, or any of my videos, really. Bit of traffic today. I don't know why. Yeah, everyone's got really bad fashion sense around here. Because they all shop at the op shops. We've got Vinnie's, St. Vincent de Paul's on the right. All the clothes are minging in there. That's where a lot of people shop. Uh, there's another second hand clothes shop. I used to buy from there back in my late teens, early 20s. It's still here, I think. I forget the name of it. But, um, mm. The clothing's not bad there if you're into second hand clothing. There's a few shops around here too, because I know a lot of skaters, they wear, um, what are those? Nikes. Um, oh, fuck, what are they? They all come in different colors and shit. Um, anyway, they sell them here. There's a few shops that sell them. But I don't know. There's, I can't believe I actually used to wear secondhand clothing. It's pretty gross when you come to think of it. I probably would if I was totally under the poverty line. I would, but I guess you would have no choice. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's kind of disgusting. Dresden, what's Dresden? Dresden Vision. Yeah, I don't know if you've seen, uh, there's a colourful person. Yeah, have you seen any SJW types? I'm kind of focusing on the road so you guys can have a better look than what I can. Oh, I have a dream. Yeah, so did I. I'm gonna get in here. Come on, fuck you. Yeah. vegetarian place it's really cheap all the students go there you might see it. it's on the right hand side there's a yellow sign that says vegetarian food and um it's pretty cheap there the food's a bit meh once in a while you actually see cockroaches in there <laughs> I read on the google reviews too so it's not just me claiming it I remember um there's a cute it's run by uh Thai people but there's a cute chick there I don't know if she'll be there today I remember um, asking her out once. She wasn't um, that impressed. Because I'd been going there for years and got to talking to her. She said, oh, no, nah, i got a boyfriend. She, yeah, wasn't happy about it. And she kind of um, gave me the cold shoulder. She in there? Can't see her. After that, yeah, she was none too impressed about it. Even though I went about it in a gentleman-like manner. So, yeah, we're pretty much running the whole length of King Street. Yeah, there's a few venues here. I used to go watch a few bands too. But, um, 
the whole uni student career, like, you know, watching indie rock bands and shit, and, you know, when I was right into that, I, was, I was, still am into that type of music, but, yeah, the whole scene, the people who listen to it, and, uh, it's, I don't know, you've basically got to be a beta male to listen, I don't know, to be really involved in all that. Beta male, politically correct type music. And there's one of those shoe places. Irreplaceable store. Why am I giving them a shout out for? I shouldn't be doing that. A few skater hipster stores. They're pretty lame in my opinion. Like, you know, it's just like some hipster working behind the counter and, you know, pretty bare minimalist type skate store, but I don't know, I just rather buy online personally myself. And I think, yeah, you, they're coming up soon. We'll drive into the, the um, parking lot anyway of the chimney stacks. I always have this... Um, morbid type of uh, imagination that, you know, they used to throw corpses and dead bodies in there and they'd burn them all inside there. But uh, I don't think that ever happened. And we're nearly at the end of the tour, which you guys are probably relieved at. Might be a bit of a shit video. I don't know. I guess I've only got so many things to talk about. It's a bit hard to when you're concentrating on the road and, you know, trying to do a video. Board world on the right. Yeah. But for those non Sydney siders, you might like the, uh, the scenery in this video. You gotta be careful going through here because I think it's a 40k zone and um, people get pinged all the time by the speed camera. I think there's a red, might be a red light camera too. Yeah, you do have to be careful driving through this very section. So there's the chimney stacks. Yes. I don't know if I'm going to... Because I think there's four-hour parking at the chimney stacks. So I might leave the car there, walk up, and then come back. It's probably the easiest way. Because parking around here can be a bit of a bitch. Fuck, we've been nearly running for half an hour. Why is the camera shaking? Ah, oh, fuck, what are we doing? Come on. For fuck's sakes. I should really go around. I don't know what's going on. What the f fucking hell? So here we are. Let's find a parking spot. Might be busy, it looks busy here today. Got a bad feeling about this. Nice park in here, Sydney Park. Yeah, you got like a park you can walk through, then you got the skate park. Skate park's okay. It gets really busy though. Ugh, what am I gonna do? No, no parking today. Not in here anyway. 
Anyway, guys, um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to end it here. Come on, go. Yeah, all right, guys. Um, have a good day. I'll speak to you soon. Okay, bye.